Hello everybody and welcome to the parish of Kilimartra. We are here tonight uh, in the townland of Lisby Beg in the house of Paddy and Judy Bork, which are here near me. And indeed we are very grateful to them for, uh, to give us the permission to hold this program here tonight. Uh, we have a, a program of music and song lined up for you for the next while, so I hope you'll enjoy it, and I would ask you all to sit back, relax, and enjoy it. By the way, I'm your family for the night. My name is Jerry Lehan, so you uh, sit back now and relax and enjoy the, our program of music and song. Thank you very much. Now, the first item we have here tonight is a few tunes on the fiddle for my good friend here, uh, John Hoare. Well, now the next item we have here is a song uh, from my own friend and my cousin Timmy Cooney. Uh, the name of the song is Mary Jane. Over to you, Timmy. Once I loved a pretty girl and her name was Mary Jane. She lived in a cottage by the sea. Sure, the bells they were ringing as I listened to the rain. As I sat upon a seat beside the bear. She was a pretty looking girl, she had cheeks just like the rose, and her skin it was well whiter than the snow. Sure I clasped her to my bosom, and the heavens only know that it almost broke my heart to leave her go. For she often used to whisper, and she fondly used to say, 
I love you and I care for none but you. I never will forget you, though we're parting far away. Believe me and I always will be true. I asked her would she marry me and happy we would be. Together we would settle down in life. She smiled so sweet upon me, and thus to me did say, For you I'd make a tender loving wife. For she often used to whisper, and she fondly used to say, I love you and I care for none but you. I never will forget you, though we're parting far away. Believe me, and I always will be through. Oh, then now that we are married, sure tis of times I do fear. We'd be far of better single back again. For there is such joy and happiness that you could not well conceive. For one kiss from a true lover would obtain. For she often used to whisper and she finally used to say, I love you and I care for none but you. I never will forget you, though we're parting far away. Believe me and I always will be true. Well now the next item is we'll have a song here from my friend here Nell Murphy from Knuckro and the name of the song is Will You Love Me When I'm Old? I will ask of you my darling a question soft and low and it gives me many a heartache as the moments come and go. For I know your love is truthful, but the truest love grows cold. So I last of you, my darling. Will you love me when I'm old? Bright May morn will soon be dawning, and its evening bells will toll. So it's only this, my darling. Will you love me when I'm when my hair is turning whiter and my eyes will a dimmer grow, I will lean upon some loved one down the valley as we go. And if I claim of you a promise, 
What a one this world of gold I will ask of you, my darling Will you love me when I'm old? Bright me morn will soon be dawning and it's evening bells will toll so it's only this my darling will you love me when i'm old down the stream of life together we will wander side by side hoping some bright day to anchor safe be and the surging tide but today the sky looks dreary and tonight high clouds will fall so I'll ask of you, my darling, will you love me when I'm old? Bright me morn will soon be dawning, and it's evening bells will toll. So it's only this, my darling, will you love me when I'm old? And when I'm old. <laughs> now I have two young girls here near me and uh, they're going to play a few tunes for us. And first of all, we'll talk to them. Uh, what's your name? Siobhan Deneen. And your name? Nora and Deneen. And uh, are you going to play a few tunes? Yes. For us? Uh, what, what are the name of the tunes? Um, All Lang Drive and Nungreena. All right, very well. Well, okay, so off we go. <laughs> Now, next, we have a song from Johnny Crowley from Ahakona, and the name of the song is Glyn Swilly. Come, listener, file my countrymen, and hear my mournful news. Although my song is sorrowful, I hope you'll be excuse. I left my peaceful residence some foreign land to see. I bid goodbye to Donegal 
likewise to Glen's village. No more among the psyche more, I'll hear the blackbird sing. No more to me the blue cuckoo, well, welcome back the spring. No more I'll plow your fertile field, a cushly galmocry. And a far in style, I'm doomed to toil, far, far from Glensville. May peace and plenty reign supreme around Luxville shores. May this condition never. Our Irish homes once more, and may the time soon come around when I'll return to sea, for to live and die where our forefathers lived and died in Glensville. Now, next to me here is Jerry Leary from Lisbury Moor, and we're going to have a recitation from Jerry, and the name of it is Sam McGee. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by those men who have mined for gold. The Arctic Trail has its secret tale shut to make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest that it ever see. But that night in the marge, by Lake Le Barge, they cremated Sam McGee. No Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home and the south to roam, round the pole God only knows. He was always called, but the land of gold. It seemed to hold him like it did. Yet he'd often say in his homely way, sure he'd sooner be in hell. On a Christmas day we'll mush your way over the Dawson Trail. Talk about cold through the parkest fold that stab up the kids of the nail. When our eyes we closed, the lashes that froze, sometimes we couldn't see. Tell me much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sammy. And that very night as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, the dogs were fed and the stars our head. They were dancing heel and toe. He turned to me and caps a sea. I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking you not to refuse my last request. He seems all... <laughs> my last request. A pal's last need is a thing to heed. I swore I wouldn't fail. So we started off for the streak of dawn. God, he looked ghastly pale. He was crouching the sleeve. And he seemed to say, you may tax your brawn and brains, but your promise through, and it's up to you to cremate my last alone. No promise made is a debt unpaid. The trail has its own stubborn cord. In the days to come, though my lips they were numb, and my heart how I cursed that Lord. And often by night, by the lawn firelight, where the huskies round in a ring, how loud their walls to the frozen snows, God how I lost the thing. Every day the quick, the quick lay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. On I went, the dogs were spent, and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I wouldn't give in. I'd often sing to the old hateful thing, but the pattern would have been. Till I came to the marge by Lake Le Barge, a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, I saw in a trace, it was called the Alice May. I looked at it, then I thought a bit. I looked at my frozen chum. No, here's the day, the sun cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the furnace floor, I lit the pile of fire. Some coal I found to scatter around, I heaped the fuel higher. The flames just soared and the furnace roared, such a blaze you never did see. 
I bored a hole in that glowing coal and I stuffed in some heat. Now next we'll have a song from Nora Dineen from Lisby B. So over to you, Nora. By a lonely prison wall I heard a young girl calling Michael, it's so lonely since you've gone For you stole Trevelyan's corn So the young might see the morn now it's lonesome round the fields of fat and rye By a lonely prison wall I heard a young man calling Nothing matters, Mary, when you're free Against the famine and the crown I rebelled, they caught me down. Now you must raise our child with dignity. Lonely the fields of that and rye, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's all only round the fields of that and rye. By a lonely harbor wall, I heard a young girl calling. As the prison ship sailed out across the sky For she lived and hope and pray For her love in Botany Bay It's all only round the fields of earth and rye Lonely the fields of earth and rye We watch the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing. It's all only round the fields of earth and rye. Now next uh, we have a young boy here who I know very well because he is my own son, Kruhur. And uh, Kruhur is going to play a few tunes on the tin whistle. First it's a, a slow air, Mavornin um, Bon, and then a G. So over to you, Kruhur.
Now next we'll have a song from Dennis O'Leary from Ahakona and Dennis is going to sing My Irish Soldier by At a cottage door one winter's night as the snow lay on the ground stood a youthful Irish soldier by to the mountain sea was bound his mother stood beside him saying you'll win my boy don't fear and with loving arms around his waist she tied his bandolier goodbye god bless your mother dear i hope your heart won't pain and pray to God you soon will see your soldier by again. And when I'm out and the firing line will be a source of joy to know that you're the mother God of an Irish soldier by. When the fighting it was over and the flag of truce was raised, the leaders ordered the firing to cease and old Ireland stood amid. His comrades came to a cottage door with an oath for her pride and joy. Confirming the news in sad repeat of an Irish soldier by. Goodbye, God bless your mother dear, I'm dying a death so grand. From wounds received in action, trying to free my native land. But we will meet in heaven above in the land beyond the sky, where you'll always be in company with your Irish soldier by. And now we'll have uh, a few jigs on the fiddle again from John Hoare. Now next we'll I'll call on the woman of the house herself, Judy Burke, for a song. And the name of the song is The Boys from the County Mayo. So over to you, Judy. Far away from the 
the land of the shamrock and heather. In search of a living as exiles we roamed. But we never will chance to assemble together. We will sing of a land where we once had a home. But these homes are destroyed and our soil confiscated. The hand of the tyrant brought plunder and war. The fires are now quenched and our hearts desolated. In our once happy home in the county Mayo. Long years have since passed, since with hearts full of sorrow. The land of the shamrock we left far behind. But how we would like to go back there tomorrow, to the scenes of our youth, which we still bear in mind. The days of our childhood, it's now we regret them. They cling to our vision wherever we go. <laughs> and the friends of our youth, we will never forget them. They too were exiled from the county Mayo. Bella, Ballin Rope, Ballina and Behola. Beloved Foxford a few miles below. Newport and Con, Whittlestrade and Manila, Charlestown too, in the county Mayo. Then boys come together in all kinds of weather. Don't show the white feather wherever you go. I teach as a brother and help one another. Like true-hearted men, from the county Mayo. So. How do I do it? Now they're, they're, they're pressing me here for a tune in the accordion, so I suppose I'll have to oblige. <laughs> Next we'll have a song from Mickey Cronin from Lisbury and the name of the song is Although She Is Wed to Another. <laughs> I once loved the lads and I loved her right well and I hated all others who spoke of her ill but now she is gone and rewarded me well. 
For she's gone to be wed to another. I saw my love to the church door. The bride and bride maiden put on a fine show. And I followed on with my heart full of woe. For now she is wed to another. I saw my love sit down to dine. I sat down beside her and poured out the wine and drank to the health that should have been mine. For now she is wed to another. The boys of the forest, they did ask of me how many strawberries grow in the fruit tree. I answered him back with a tear in my eye. How many ships sails in the forest? Oh, dig me a grave and dig it right deep and cover it over with flowers so sweet that I may lay down and take my last sleep and maybe in time I'll forget her Now once again I'll call on Nell Murphy from Knuckrow for another song and the song she'll sing this time is The Boy with the Foxy Fair Moustache. So over to you Nell. <coughs> Once I loved a handsome fellow, I loved him as dear as life. I thought that he would come one day and that I would be his bride. His pockets were filled with gold and he cut an awful dash. He had a diamond ring, a watch and chain and a foxy fair moustache. He came to me the other night and stopped with me till three. He said he loved the other girl as dear as he loved me. He said we'd live in the grandest style, for he had lots of cash. And to my lips he gently pressed his foxy fair mustache. Uh, oh, God. There came one day a sour old maid, she was worth her weight in gold. She had false hair, she wore false teeth. She was forty-nine years old. It was quickly he deserted me, all for that old maid's cash. Right well, you know, I lost my boy and his foxy fair moustache. Sure, they're living now together in that grand castle lore. She loved him for his fair moustache, and he married her for her gold. So all young girls take my advice, and do not be too rash. Beware of all the fly young lads with the foxy fair moustache. And I forgot her. <laughs> <laughs> Now we'll have a few tunes again now on the fiddle from John Hoare. So it's over to you, John.
Now next I'll call on the girl here near me, Marie Healy uh, from uh, Lisby Bay. And the song she's going to sing is Tons of Bright Gold. So over to you, Marie. To carry all one fine summer's morning I straight To view the green grass and fields of folding fine shade When who should I meet but a handsome and charming young dame And for tons of bright gold, of course I won't tell her name if I on Macroom and all fine lands by the sea, and all the fine farms from Blarney to Ballinagree, I'd give the man more for this charming young maid to obtain, and for tons of bright gold, of course, I won't tell her name. It was down by the Larney, my darling was hurting her kind. I'd like to be near her, hear her singing so fine. Her notes were like music, I'm sure that her voice is the same. And for tons of bright gold, of course, I won't tell her name. When I and my girl together in wedlock are joined, the clergy will pay for their labor considered so light. Until that day, indeed, her name must secret remain, and without any gold, of course, I will tell her name. <laughs> Now once again I'll call on my friend here, Timmy Patty Coney, to sing another song for us and the name of the song this time is A Khushle Yal Mukhri. All of you attend their hearts of high and low degree. Draw near and pay attention and listen a while to me. Don't leave behind the one you love for the sake of death or gold. But if you do, you'll surely rue before you will grow. When my love and I absconded, I'll remember forevermore. The eighteenth day of February in the year of eighty four to the sunny side of sweet is sure from my native homeless boy that very charming healthy spot where since my infancy. And fair kill Michael's parish, where there I must abide. His praises for two in fold, and there I but a child. My ambition there for living, the truth I will proclaim. My lots are cast and sentence path for life there to remain. And sometimes I feel lonesome, my native home to part. My near and dear relations from me are far apart. My sisters and my brothers, I seldom them can see. But my only consolation is an achish legal mochri. By Tyrrelt and splendid station, Build for the constabulary. My near and next door neighbors forevermore 
to be their bells and bells tell me it's all three summer's day and duty for his majesty their bond and must obey and once i had a sweet heart was near Gugon. More of them let far away, their names I won't mention at all. Some have crossed the stormy men, may God there with them be. But my only consolation is an achish leg al Farewell to sweet Kilbarry and famous Silver Grove. Likewise, clown Ticarty to Lisby Berg and Moor. Farewell to his handsome, charming maid who had a dance with me. But the one I danced with after all was a Christle Galmachri. Now, once again, I'll call on Jerry Leary from this brief for another recitation. So over to you, Jerry. As I went out the other night, my hair stood stiff within the fright. Before my eyes, I saw a sight on the top of Shlongoyer. I stood in trance for minutes few until this light had changed to blue, and a hundred more appeared in view on the top of Swanavir. Now I said I'd go to view this sight, and I went to get my bike. I changed my mind and I said I'd hike to the top of Swanavir. Now at the gully as I passed by, you all know when they tell no lie. There appeared a man and he running towards Swanavir. I ran to catch him, he jumped the ditch, couldn't hold him because he was a witch. <laughs> he changed Lucy's bed into a football pitch that beat him strongly. So I turned round, he says to me, You know well I am the referee, and you might as well come with me to the football and show on the rear. It was twelve or fifteen minutes later, and the grand stand there was a spectator. The judge he came over and they be commentator for the football and show on the rear. They had dressed me out in togo tucks, velvet shoes and nylon socks. Should I walk today up to that micro box to broadcast and show the grill? <laughs> oh, Peggy Woogie, he threw in the ball. He threw it low because all men were small. <laughs> first to score was Winky Rall, first blood for show the grill. Now Spingle Shanks took the kick out, while Harry Ho and Big Tooth Boat <laughs> went for the ball, but his focus now equalized against show the grill. Log and Lubber, they played full back. <coughs> Our centre players were Tom and Hack. As the list be a bias, they filed all attack that might have shown the wheel. Now the game was played so very well, I began to roar and to shout as well. So my box broke and down I fell into a back hole and shot the wheel. <laughs> I began to roar, to shout and to jump. Someone cut me, and I stuck a thump. And the missus as I was a big blue lump, she was the wheel and she was the wheel. Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> right, Jerry. Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Now that concludes the programme for tonight and we hope you all enjoyed it and we hope to be back shortly again to Kilimartra to, and I hope you'll join us for another programme of music and song. So thank you very much.